your lines now as it goes after a while it will get start to go hard as it sort of goes dry however it might start sort of blocking up the tube so you have to go then back to get small so to keep doing that bringing it across you can't see it very well at the moment because right, it's quite a fine this tool is, this tool is called a jamming tool okay so this is you can um you can make it come out a little bit more bit more of an angle it's different sorts of jamming tools but then it's a uh, it's it's called batik the method and it's from indonesia a lot of indonesian um islands the take as a traditional method as well as printing things like that so the idea is that you can't see it much okay but you can create textures you could create patterns it's not very um, precise um, because it does blob if you leave it too long it can blob now this isn't blobbing but sometimes it makes blobs as well so once you've done that it's dry, and it is. It's hard. It's going hard the way you, where your work is. You get your dye. Let's just move that. Get your dye over here, and you can do. So get the paintbrush. Now you've got a bit of water in this paintbrush, but you could go neat, or you could uh, sort of put a bit of water in to make it thinner. The idea is it will do this. Right. So it might make a texture for your fish. Yes, like that. And then you put some water in it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like that. Yellows or greens. Now at the moment it looks like very much like the um it, it's, it's a resist method. It's a type of resist method because it resists the ink.